if we could ask Jesus to come and sit at the table with us where we would do nothing but sit and listen and he would do all of the talking, what would he say to us about this particular topic? In his days, and I'm going to I'm going to play the adversarial position for a little bit just to help us to think, there was no lithium. There was no Abilify. Mm, there mm. was no, you name the drug. Yeah. So Jesus would not have been able to prescribe those or would not have said oh. to someone, well, take your meds. So what would Jesus say to us about this? <laughs> That's such a great question. Now, sometimes we don't realize the first century was a little more sophisticated than what we think it was, but we need to read the Bible with first century eyes, even when we seek to do what you just said, Janet, re, uh, answer 21st century questions. Jesus did minister in a world, I think, that was much more difficult even than our world. Remember, 25% of the Roman Empire was sick, dying, or in need of immediate medical attention on a daily basis. Life expectancy was 20 years of age, Janet. So people were dying all around wow. Jesus. And so no wonder 30 times in the Gospels, we hear that large crowds were traveling with Jesus. They were wanting to press on him. He even had to get an a, in a boat vessel at one point because the crowd was so thick just trying to press on him. So it was a very difficult day to minister in many respects, far more difficult than today. But I think if Jesus were sitting without, down with us today, he would give us a healing equation for the church. He would, of course, already discuss the fact that we need to break the silence, stop, stop the stigma, but, hey, we need to admit that every single family struggles with this. It's in some form or fashion. Every family does. Secondly, I believe Jesus would lead us to love instead of judge, condemn, or misunderstand. We don't want to find ourselves in the self-appointed pressure group that Jesus always dealt with, the Pharisees. And I've learned every time I speak, there's a Pharisee in the crowd. There's someone judging, condemning, or misunderstanding. I believe Jesus would lead us to build support groups for every age level in our church that addresses mental disorders. The fastest growing segment is our children. They're growing up in broken homes. They're growing up in godless environments many times. And then finally, I think Jesus would lead the way to encourage the mentally ill and those who are struggling with mental difficulties to begin serving right now. I believe Jesus would encourage that immediately. And I do think that on the positive side, we could do an entire program, Janet, on ways that we can have mental health as leaders. We can say more, no more often. That's what I'm working on, Janet, just saying no more often for the bigger yes of my family or the bigger yes of my physical health. We need to take frequent short sabbaticals. We need to develop and sustain peer support. We need to monitor that balance between work and life. I mean, there's a lot of good things we can discuss about this that, that really hit us at a holistic level. But I, I really think that's how Jesus would respond, because I do think he dealt with this. Even though it looks a little different today, I know that he dealt with this.